Kaspir, how do you look at this move? Can this be a game changer? How big a move do you think it is? This is indeed a big reach out uh, for the first time actually by Manipur Chief Minister and Biren Singh uh, to the tallest leader of the Mizo, Mizo Zo community, Zo Cookie community. Uh, in fact, uh, Mizo Zo leader, uh, Mizoram Chief Minister, Joram Thanga, by far a very, very seasoned uh, political leader who has seen it all. He had been uh, led a very, very uh, uh, strong rebellion. He was the leader of the Mizo National Front. Then he was prag pragmatic enough to sign the peace accord with the government of India. And that is the only peace accord that has kicked in the northeastern region. And that has enhanced this picture of a leader like Mr. Joran Thanga. Now, uh, the Manipur Chief Minister, Mr. Birin Singh, calling up, uh, telephoning uh, Mr. Joram Thanga, uh, and Mr. Joram Thanga, from, from Mr. Joram Thanga's tweet, we have learned that the Mizoram Chief Minister called him today around 12.30 p.m. And, and according to, the, uh, to Mr. Joram Thanga, the Chief Minister of Manipur uh, sought his help to resolve the issue, resolve to restore peace, and so that they can leave, henceforth leave uh, uh, peacefully, and they can coexist peacefully for peaceful coexistence in the future. Now, this is a very big uh, claim that uh, Mr. Joram Thanga has made that the Manipur Chief Minister has sought his help uh, to restore peace in uh, the trouble torn Manipur so that they can live peacefully. Now, the fact remains that uh, it, it is definitely an ethnic uh, conflict between the Cookies and the Maites. Uh, however, whatever uh, Mr. Joram Thanga might, uh, Mr. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Whatever Mr. Uh, N. Biren Singh might say, Mr. Biren Singh has been saying that this is not a fight between communities and it's some infiltrators fighting the security forces. It's not as simple as that. It is definitely an ethnic unrest that Manipur has been witnessing for the last one and a half months, Nabarun. No, uh, one thing is clear that in the last 45 days, uh, the trust deficit has remained constant. The trust deficit in certain cases has grown bigger. And there is still a complete disconnect between the valley and the affected hill districts. Could this move, as uh, the Mizoram CM claims, the Manipur CM seeking his help in restoring normalcy, can this uh, move probably bridge the gap between the affected hill districts and the valley? Is that the breakthrough probably the Manipur government is looking at? Well, yes, uh, Joram Thanga might well play the role of a catalyst, the role of a peacemaker. And, if, and it could well be, this move by Enberin Singh could be actually a game changer. Uh, now, the, this is, as I said in the beginning, this is a huge reach out to the Mizo Zo Kuki community. Uh, but when, uh, when uh, Mr. Biren Singh telephoned my counterpart in Mizoram, Mr. Joram Sangha, and sought his assistance in restoring peace. And, 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 and now, now the big question, big question is, uh, Navarun, uh, you know, it is definitely an ethnic conflict and um, Manipur is not such a big state and there are three major communities. This is the Metes who live in the hills, then it is the Cookies who are in the periphery, then beyond that is the Nagas. Uh, now, these are the three major uh, communities. Now, no one can say that we want the whole of state but we don't want the people. That is not, nobody is saying that and nobody can say that. Uh, therefore, therefore, the co living co peaceful coexistence is uh, something which is the only option left. Now, okay, political demands will be there. The political demands are on one side. The Maitis are demanding inclusion in the serial tribe lease, and the cookies are uh, now asking for a separate administration. This, this is something which uh, cannot happen overnight. The government has to deal with it. This is not in the purview of the state government. It is the purview of the central government to deal or respond to such demands. But the, the need of the hour is the restoration of peace, stop this mayhem, and bring some reason into the troubled town state. Now, now uh, I have been talking to various leaders on both sides, the valley and the hills. Now, they're saying that, uh, you know, wherever there are cookies, there are metes. Wherever there are metes, there are cookies. Whether it is in Bangladesh, whether it is in uh, Myanmar, whether it is in Mizoram, whether it is in Manipur, wherever there are metes, there are cookies. Now, this is something... Uh, the, this, uh, the, the people who are saying this, they, they, they want to prove a point. They are saying that cookies and metes uh, uh, are actually, you know, uh, they are brothers, quote unquote. And uh, and uh, wherever they, they, they have been living uh, in this manner for two, they have a 2,000 year old history of coexistence, 2,000 plus uh, long years uh, history of coexistence. And therefore, this cannot end overnight. The two people just uh, parting ways. Therefore, they have to live in coexistence. And that is what 
Mr. Joram Thanga has emphasized in his Twitter, Twitter, Twitter post. Was we, uh, if you remember when the violence uh, initially broke out in the first few days, a uh, lot of groups, especially from the valley, had questioned Mizoram's role too, and the and the comments, remarks, alleged comments, remarks by some Mizo leaders or groups. But do you think this warm gesture by Zoram Thanga, who has assured unconditional support to the Manipur government, the centre's effort to restore normalcy, do you think that will change? And it's 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 a positive. It's something positive that has happened today. End of the day. Well, you see, you see, Mr. Joram Thanga has demonstrated statesmanship in his. Uh, post, you know, he has he has uh, demonstrated that uh, Mizos or, for that matter, the Mizoram government or he himself has a big heart, and and therefore he has assured uh, that the Métis living in Mizoram will be safe. He said that as long as they are in Mizoram, the Mizoram government as well as the Mizo civil society will ensure their safety. And therefore, uh, I mean, we, when 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 Mr. Joram Thanga is speaking uh, not on his own behalf, he's also speaking on behalf of the NGOs when he said that uh, the Mizoram government and the NGOs in Mizoram can assure safety of the Métis as long as they are in Mizoram. That means he has the backing of the civil society. Now, I was going to the re I was going and looking at the responses to uh, to Joram Thanga's uh, tweet uh, this, today, and when. They, you see, a lot of people, lot of people are praise, praising him. Most of the people are praising him. They're saying that uh, this is something he has uh, uh, demonstrated that he has the control over things, and therefore they expect a similar thing from the from the government in Manipur that uh, protecting uh, the, uh, protecting the cookies in the valley, or for that matter, uh, the rivers. Now, therefore, uh, uh, Joram Thanga's tweet has uh, put, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, lot of responsibility uh, on uh, Mr. his counterpart, uh, Mr. N. Birin Singh's part, because he has to now act. Uh, uh, and, and, and this is a definitely a re reach out. Whatever has happened, has happened. Now is the time to restore peace. And this is for the first time that Manipur Chief Minister has come up with a major reach out. Absolutely. Peace, no matter where it comes from, is the need of the hour and is, and is always welcome. Thank you, Asbir, for your perspective on this very big development.